Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Coach Art Studio, and today I wanted to send you guys off on a little Christmas present before I go to Colorado with something cool. Um, so I do artwork, and if you guys have not seen it, here are a couple of the examples that I do. A lot of it is character-based illustrations, and it is my passion and hobby, so I thought to myself, what better way to do that than to show you the most beautiful place in all of Orlando. This is where I live, and sunset surround the entire view 360 on the top of my roof and it's great I'm not gonna do too much talking I'll let you guys go from here but I just wanted you guys to see a little of what I'm going to do and then from there just watch me do some art peace so in this drawing I kind of had a little inspiration due to Christmas you know it is winter time not so much here in Florida but I did do um, all this work pre going to Colorado so I was in the mood to do a little snow a little wintry thing and I know it does contradict the warm sunny Florida rooftop that I was drawing off of but part of drawing is not necessarily to be inspired by your references but by your interests as well and you know I love doing the uh, sci-fi slash kind of fantasy uh, superheroes or villains this guy could go either way he does look like a villain but uh you know who knows it's all up to interpretation I guess um, I don't want to go through too much because I do like these videos to be quick and I want you guys to be able to appreciate a little bit of speed art with some music in it and not bore you too much but um, I will say if I could throw a tip in there um, personally I don't do a lot of physical drawings with color because I do love black and white the contrast that it shows but when I'm doing digital work it's normally all color and I've done so many different variations of shading techniques um, I think that the last one I was really big on was uh, using Illustrator and the pen tool but I found out that you can kind of replicate the same speed or same type of uh, shading techniques by just throwing everything into Photoshop and skipping that whole step and it's actually quicker uh, us using the brush um, I do use a lot of the lasso tool to kind of draw out my shades because it seems to be easier to fill in those shapes and those edges and those organic um, you know kind of angles as opposed to freehand doing it now um, that may differ depending on who you guys are as an artist personally this is the way I like to do it. Um, I'm also big on using light colors to contrast with dark, especially since my line work um, tends to actually include black shadows as well. Uh, there's a lot of contrast already going on there, and I want to kind of limit myself from getting too playful with the colors. I chose a color scheme that was going to be very neutral, uh, it was going to give off a winter vibe, but also he could stand out, you know, in the snow or in, in a sunny environment. You know, obviously the light blue is um, really a, an eye-catching uh, phenomenon. And you can play with him because, like I said, he's, he's a fantasy character. So, you know, purple skin, blue, I did like the kind of brown um, color scheme that mi mixed with the mint. I felt like doing those two things together were really, really important for um, kind of rounding him all together and you know you can mess with it a little bit but having his goggles his gloves the bottom of his shoes kind of match his pants I you know I felt the uh, the urge to do this was pretty well um, calculated and I think it came out pretty pretty darn accurate too I would say the only other thing that I noticed here is that the little spirit um, I came up with a hundred different color variations that could work and I ultimately came to his skin color because Felt like the little spirit in the corner should kind of resemble him it is a uh, it is a breaking of his soul if you can see I tried to put the um, the little logo on his shirt also on the logo on the uh, or the symbol on the spirit so there was a little bit of um, tactical playing in there I didn't use any references for this character in particular but I did really want to kind of push my boundaries in terms of what I know and what I do um, I'm hoping you guys enjoy these types of videos I want to do more artwork out in public and I want to be able to come in and use my digital touch to um, make it nice and pretty and professional for you guys but um, this is a test you know that everything's gonna be changing we're gonna be evolving um, I'd like to see what your guys feedback is on this and I hope that everybody can learn a little something and I hope to learn something from you guys in return anyways um, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of this artwork and thank you guys so much if you like my content subscribe mm -hmm.